welcome back to my channel today we are going to make a full workflow in quantum gist and we are going to develop the full watershed analysis open your quantum gist i have for this example the version bratislava you load your area of interest we are somewhere in uh, republic of congo we have a refugee site called 15th of april and i want to develop the watershed analysis of this area first of all i need to identify my utm projection for that i open the lat long tool plugin and clicking on this capture coordinates cross I identify my projection. In this case, I have the standard UTM projection 34 north. So I will set up my quantum GIS with this projection. Go into setting, option, CRS transform, and here I'm going to select 34 north UTM and as well here. This is important because later on, all the process that we are going to do on the digital terrain model need to be done in metric projection as a next step i have to download my digital terrain model as you know i use the fabdem in order to identify the right tile i use this plugin srtm downloader set canvas extend and download here I don't need to download anything because I don't want SRTM, but what I need is just these tiles, north 3, east 18. I can delete this. So I go to FabDem and I look for north 3 and east 18, so north between 0 and 10, that's fine, and east between 10 and 20, this one. So I download it, I open this digital terrain model, I unzip everything and I choose the right tiles. The right tile is 0318, is this one. So I copy this one and I paste in my case under JS database, Congo Fabdem and I have it already here. It is this one, 0318 B2. Now I have my digital terrain model, download it. I load it in my quantum GIS. Go to FabDem and here I have it, I, I put the name Beto so that I can find it easily. And that's it, okay. That's my digital terrain model. You can see that it is a huge tile. So I don't need all this big tile. That's why I'm going to crop it just the area that I think it is useful for me. Maybe this area. So I crop this one. To crop a digital terrain model, you go to raster, extraction, clip raster by extent. You choose the FabDem and here you click on this icon. You set the extent and that's it and you run it. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. Now I have my raster clipped by extent. It's a temporary file, therefore I save it. Save as. I call it fabdem clip. Okay, that's it. I don't need it anymore. Now we can check the properties of this digital terrain model. We can see that we have a geographic coordinate system and we have a pixel site in degrees. So the first thing what we want to do is to reproject the digital terrain model and also to increase the resolution. Increasing the resolution doesn't improve the quality of the digital terrain model, but it gives, when you work with it, better smooth result. So to reproject and to increase the resolution, we go to Processing, Toolbox, and we write here Warp. Here you see the raster projection, Warp, reproject. Okay, we take the FabDem clipped, the source projection is the 
geographic projection target projection we have seen that it is the utm 34 north now resampling method when you reproject a digital terrain model it is better to use the bilinear interpolation method because this method balance the smoothness and increase the efficiency of your computer it's actually better so we choose this bilinear resampling method and here we can write the resampling size so i want to resample to increase the resolution of one meter per pixel that's why i write one I run it and I close. Now let's check the reprojection digital terrain model, the properties. We have the metric projection, that's fine, and pixel size of one meter. Let's check visually the pixel side. Here the pixels are actually relatively clear. From here to here it's one meter. Okay. So that's fine. I save it as FabDem clipped one meter UTM. Okay. So I have all the information in my title. Fine. I don't need this one anymore. So I don't have. And I can also save my documents. Now I have my digital terrain model resample metric projection one meter resolution fine next step i need to process the digital terrain model and i need to identify and to eliminate all the things things are kind of depression and if we do not eliminate the things when we do the watershed analysis the streams are actually filling the sinks and staying there and not going away anymore. In quantum GIS, there are several logarithms that are used to fill the sinks for hydrological analysis. The one that I'm going to present it to you, it is called fill sinks done by Wang and Louis within the Saga plugins. How to do that? You open the processing toolbox and you search for fill sinks you insert as a basis your digital terrain model metric projection one meter resolution and you have to give the minimum slope the minimum slope is an essential gradient for water to flow out of each cell it ensures that the flow direction are properly defined and prevents flat area from causing issues if the gradient is low this represent a real flat terrain if the gradient is high steeper terrain it is a trial and error process it might not work with the first parameter then you have to change it again let's do it with 0.001 and see what happens our area is rather Flat. We are going to give a name to this developed digital terrain model. I'm going to call it FieldDem 0.001. I don't need to develop the watershed bassin and I don't need to see the flow direction. So I run. Fine, we have now developed our sink field digital terrain model i'm going to rename it fields field them 0.001 and this is the end of the first part of the tutorial see you soon with the second and last part of the tutorial where we are going to develop the natural streams and the watersheds